Hi everybody and welcome to Saturday Sampler March with Botanica Garden. Marilyn here. I'm ready to launch you into month three. So I know that everybody's doing a great job in month one and two. So we are jumping right in. This is very exciting because we're now into the center block. And so what this is, is page three, blooming center. But Importantly, I need to talk to you about the recipe. Yes, I have a great one for you. It's right in front here. This is a triple chocolate scone, I know. Because we're all meeting at breakfast time, you might as well have breakfast. And of course, it might as well be chocolate. And triple chocolate, what can be better? Now, it is made from scratch, okay? And some of you are thinking, what? You know, you can buy a scone package. Really, come on guys, it's not as good, all right? And you're thinking, it's gonna be difficult. Do you see what you're making? You're making this quilt, okay? That's challenging. The least you can do is whip up a chocolate scone from scratch. Okay, it's pretty easy and it's delicious. Okay, look how good that is. Very, very yummy. Oh, and look at the really nice plate I have it on. Isn't that pretty? A really nice saucer. And for my special drink, the best thing the scones go with, okay, I know you're gonna say tea. Okay, I couldn't resist. Month three, I'm jumping right in champagne okay you can put a little orange juice in okay i know they're called what are they called again okay help me out cameraman miss mimosas oh mimosas okay that's what they are okay so pretend i have a little bit of orange juice in with my champagne mm. so good you might not want to do that much cutting with your rotary cutter but so delicious with your scone mm. delicious you're gonna have to you're gonna want to have one and do, do spend a little extra for some really good chocolate, okay? Some really good chocolate. Go right next door to Gelson's. Pick up your baking cocoa that goes in there. Pick up a nice, do buy two of them, okay? One that goes in and then one a little extra for munching, okay? While you're sewing, because you're going to get super hungry for this one. Okay, so there we go with our dessert. You'll get the recipe on Saturday. So I'm going to put this away right over here for my munching and we'll talk about cutting. Okay. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six fabrics. Okay. Label them as we talk about every month. Okay. For fabric four, which is right here, you're going to cut four two by five inch strips. Cut the big strip you get in five inches and then cross cut it into two inch two by five rectangles. Okay, fabric five, it's easy. One, four and three quarter inch square. Fabric six, you need a bunch of two inch strips. So I took the first one and I cut a two and seven eighths inch cut and then you need two two and seven eighths inch squares. Cut that in half for triangles. And then you need, so what I did is you need a two inch by nine inch. So the first strip I cut one long two inch strip, cut off my nine inch and then cut eight two inch squares. And then I had enough left for my two and seven eighths inch. And then when it was all said and done, you can see I still had a lot left of that fabric. So don't worry about it. I mean, don't screw up a lot. Okay. But you still have stuff left over. Okay. So that's your Fabric six, easy cutting. Fabric eight is right here. You need one three and a half by nine inch strip and two, one two and five eighths inch square and four two inch squares. So again, I just cut one three and a half inch strip, cut it down to nine. What I had left, I cut the rest out of and I still had some left over. Okay, number 12, you need four three and a half inch squares, two two and seven eighths inch squares. You're gonna cut that those in half and then two two and a half inch squares and then fabric 13 you need four um, two by three and a half inch strips 
and then four two inch squares. Okay, so I'll see you in a few minutes and we'll start piecing this together.